friends welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to teach you how to make a smart door lock circuit using an arduino board to make the circuit we are going to use an online software which is tinkercad software so let's go to the video come on guys okay friends first you go to any browser and type tinkercad in any browser and just click it and you need to log in to the tinkercad after login it looks like this is the main page of the tinker card and the left side you can see a 3d design So you need to be connecting like this order wise Now you can see this is the last wire of connecting from keypad to the Arduino board You can see here column 3, column 2, column 1, row 1, 2, 3 and 4 and just go, you can change the color of it and just go and you can see here 7, minus 6, minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 So now from keypad to Arduino board it is connected Now let's go for the LCD display to the Arduino board You can see here that there are so many pins so take an db7 pin connect to the a5 and take a4 connect to the db6 and take a3 connect to the db5 a2 to the db4 
and A1 and A2 can connect from RS and E. Connect RS to the A0 and connect E to the A1. Now from LCD display to RDO mode wiring has completed. Next wiring you can go for servo motor to the Arduino board. See there are three pin single power and ground. Take the ground pin connect to the Arduino where you can see their ground pin. So ground and ground will be connected. And take the power pin. Connect to the positive to the breadboard and take the signal pin connect to the minus 9 at the top of the Arduino board you can see there connect to the minus 9 pin now servo motor and Arduino board wire has completed next can connect potentiometer to the LCD display and Arduino board you can see here the potentiometer and the LCD display. You can see at the potentiometer there are three pins. Terminal at the between you can see wiper and terminal one. So terminal two connect to the ground at the LCD display. And wiper connect to the V0. Change the color. And I can take the pin terminal 1 and connect to the VCC of the LCD display and change the color. Now potentiometer to the LCD display wiring has completed. Now take the LED, LED 2 terminals are there. Take the second LED connect to the positive of the breadboard and take the first LED pin to the connect to the negative of the breadboard and take the terminal 1 connect to the positive of the breadboard
you can see the enter password so i'll keep it here as my name let's come like crazy and this all the codes so now coding also is completed now let's go for the start simulation just rotate the potentiometer you can see here and just zoom it so you can see the Arduino board enter the password and you can see our channel name this crazy you can type the password here and one two three four five and six you can see the rot servo motor starts rotated and press hashtag or it locks the door and if I put the wrong password 3 2 and 1 see it's display as wrong password okay guys I hope you understand how to make a smart door lock circuit if you liked my video just click on the like button and comment me if you want any another circuit to make and if you not subscribe to my channel just subscribe to my channel and click bell icon and give all so if I upload any video you'll get email notification Okay friends, bye bye until the next video. Thanks for watching.